Internet land, what's good? It's Cheats Producer. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna present a tutorial on how to achieve note repeat within reason. Now, if you've seen any of my videos, you've noticed, you probably noticed that I've been able to just get note repeat simply by pressing one pad down. Now, this method that I use is not something I, I originated. I actually found it on YouTube, and uh, for the life of me, I cannot find that video. I found it a couple years back, and I've been using the method ever since. So, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now, I split this video into two parts. The first part is just showing you how to get the basic note repeat function. The second part is just some tweaks that I added to the combinator that I use in order to get this. All right, so let's get started. All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to create this con uh this combinator that i have right here um which will allow you to achieve note repeat by simply just pressing the pad you don't have to hold a note repeat button and a pad just press the pad and you'll get um a note repeat in different resolutions the same way that i do it in all of my videos so um let's let's just start uh first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start off simply by creating a combinator boom so within this combinator, what I want to do is I want to create a Kong. Okay. First thing I would do is reset the device. Okay. Now, once you have that created, go to utilities and create a spider CV uh, merger and splitter, not the audio merger and splitter, but the CV spider CV merger and splitter. Then hold down the alt or option key and just duplicate that okay press tab it's going to be uh, connected just disconnected because it does not need to be connected at this point okay uh, what you want to do now is you want to create one rpg8 uh, arpeggiator okay it's going to be connected as well just disconnect that okay uh, let's flip it back around and what I would suggest you do is bring this down to eighth note, okay? Uh, and simply title this eighth note. And then what you want to do is simply duplicate this, uh, and then title this one eighth note trips, okay? and duplicate it again. Okay, so at this point, what you should do is duplicate the RPG-8 since you have seven in total. Uh, the note repeat value should be the following for each one. Eighth note on top, eighth note triplets under that, 16th note, 16th note triplets under that, 32nd note, 64th note, 128th note. Okay, you might wanna pause the video at this time just so you can do that. And please don't think that uh, just because I'm telling you to do it triplets that you have, you know, whatever values that you have to, like, do it the way I said, you know, you can do it, you know, how you like it. Okay. <clears throat> now, flip it around by pressing the tab key. Now, take what you want to do on each one. Take this gate CV out and put it into that first merger splitter. Then fold this one down. Repeat the process with each one. Okay, fold it. Okay. All right. Now at this point, you want to take all of these merged CV uh, signals and put them into the next spider CV and fold. Keep folding the RPG8s down and continue to uh, input them into the the second merger splitter. Now what this will do is it will take all of these different CV signals that are giving off different uh, note repeat values and merge them into one lane so you can uh, have these all going to one sample. Now from here you want to take this merger and put it into one the one that you want to uh, have the notes repeat. So I usually use like 13 through 16 as my repeated notes. Okay, so I'm just going to put the gate in for that one. And let's flip it back around. Now I have my uh, drum pad controller hooked up and if I press pad 16 you're going to notice it, it triggers 16, okay, 15. But look, watch so when I press 15, it's triggering it, 14, 13. As a matter of fact, every single 
pad that I'm pressing is, is triggering 16. Now, the reason why that's happening is because the way Kong is set up is that it's set up to receive the notes from C minus two to G8. We don't want that. We want this right here to be C1 because this that is the note that that uh, that will be triggered there, uh, C1. So let's bring this up right here to C1. Okay, now C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, um, G sharp. Now I usually start my note repeat right here. Okay, so this is this note right here is A1. So I'm going to have the high note on this be G sharp one. Okay. All right. Now, since this pad right here, now understand that this is the one, this is the sample that will be uh, repeated when it's triggered. But on my pad controller, the it will basically correspond to this one but it's the note that this one is repeating and uh, it's the note that it's receiving which will cause pad 16 to repeat so um the note that is received on pad 10 is a1 so what i want to do is for the eighth note the eighth note uh repeater i'm simply just gonna bring this up to a1 okay and I'm going to drop this to A1 as well. I'm going to do the same thing for uh, eighth note triplet, but I'm going to bring it to A sharp one. Okay. Then for 16th note, I'm going to bring it to B1. Sixteenth note triplets, C2. Thirty second note, C sharp two. Sixty fourth note, D two. Okay, let's bring this down here. And for one twenty eighth note, we're going to bring this up to D sharp two. Okay, so what that now allows me to do is when I press, now I say I'm pressing pad 9, when I press pad 10, notice it's triggering pad 16, I, and notice it's like, you know, it's giving you the one eighth note, okay, when I press pad 11, once again, it's, now I'm pressing pad 12, now I'm pressing pad 13, now I'm pressing 14, now I'm pressing 15, now I'm pressing 16. The reason why it stays lit is because it's receiving the repeated command to um, to play the note over and over again um, at different resolutions that we've already set up. So um, at this point, what you can do is you can save this if you want to. Save the combinator up here. Now, another thing that you can do <coughs> <clears throat> to make things just a little more interesting for yourself is to uh, is to use this button one and to use it to enable and disable the shuffle okay shuffle or swing or whatever you want to call it okay um, go to eighth note and on the side right here button one let's go to pattern shuffle okay eighth note trips button one pattern shuffle and just repeat that for each one of your uh, RPGAs now what this allows you to do is it literally allows you to turn on um, you know kind of like the the swing setting that they have um, if that's something that you want to have if that's a feature that you want to have so now I'm just gonna fold the Kong up and it's gonna open up one of these RPG8s and you will see when I press this this button the shuffle is now turned on okay okay so all I want to show you here is just how the note repeat works and how it, it can function across different um, controllers. So obviously I have the notepad controller, 
like I said before, I'm using pad 10 as as the uh, where my note repeat starts. Okay, you can see the speeds gets up get up a little higher there. Um, you can also achieve this using the uh, QWERTY keyboard. And yeah, my keyboard is acting weird for some reason. Like it's still triggering after I left my finger. That's why I'm tapping it twice. So, for one finger, that's all you need. So, check out part two if you want to see some tweaks. Peace.